A Young Man and His Triangle, a poem by Bill Wiley. I stepped upon the sacred stage of Boston's hallowed hall. I had dreamed of this momentous day and finally got the call to work with Arthur Fiedler as he led the Boston Pops, my hero and my idol. I thought he was the tops. With much elan and fervor, he conducted with panache. A large and warm and charming smile, a huge snow-white mustache. Although I never met him, I knew we would be friends. He'll take me for a glass of wine just as rehearsal ends. We started with the overture to the opera, William Tell. I picked up my triangle, and I knew my part quite well. I had listened to the record. "'Twas Red Label, RCA. I would play my part quite perfectly and brag about this day. I was tacit in the opening, in the dark and stormy scene. Then the strings took up a tune with a soft pastoral theme. A flute trilled pianissimo, the oboe did its thing. As I applied a gentle stroke, my triangle sounded ding! I smiled at Maestro Fiedler. I stood erect and proud. And Fiedler looked right back at me and said, You're too damn loud. His eyes, they fired daggers, but he didn't stop the orc. We finished the rehearsal, and I felt like a dork. There was no glass of Merlot nor Narragansett beer. No French of bonds were formed that day. His fury was quite clear. Heroes sometimes disappoint. They're not quite what they seem. That loud percussive noise you heard, t'was the crushing of a dream. Oh, somewhere in New England, the sun was shining bright. A band played in Fall River, and Cambridge hearts were light. In Newton, kids were laughing, and choirs sang with glee. But there was no joy in Boston town when Fiedler yelled at me.